with massive tech layoffs, increasingly powerful artificial intelligence, and an expected 10% decline in computer programming jobs by 2030, it seems things are not as rosy as they once were for programming. So is it too late to learn programming in 2023? Maybe it's better instead to learn a trade, like plumbing. In this video, I'll analyze why the tech layoffs happened, how AI affects and will affect programming, and if you should learn programming, whether or not you want to make it a career. So first, let's talk about the tech layoffs. The tech industry increased its layoffs by 649% in 2022. Amazon laid off 18,000 people, Google 12,000, Meta 11,000, and so on. Economic downturn, inflation, higher interest rates, combined with investor pressure, led to companies turning to layoffs as a survival method to cut costs. In fact, you can see that Google stock, which was at $93 on January 19th, shot up 5% on January 20th when they announced the layoffs. This indicates that investors thought that the layoffs were the correct move. Another big reason was that tech companies overhired during the pandemic. For example, Meta nearly doubled its employee headcount, going from 48,000 staffers to more than 80,000. This was necessary when so many people were spending all of their time online, but now that things are normal again, the demand has dropped. Does this mean that big tech will never hire again and will continue to dwindle? No, of course not. This is just a standard boom and bust cycle. Think of the dot-com bubble. Tech did not die after it burst. Most likely, when the economy improves, big tech will grow and start hiring again. Furthermore, there are plenty of other companies that are still hiring software engineers. Every industry needs them. Just take a look on a site like Indeed.com. Okay, let's talk about AI. AI has gotten very impressive in the last few years. It now matches humans in many domains, like beating the best professional Go players, generating art, and even chatting. AI can now even generate code, but as of right now, there is just too much that AI cannot do in terms of programming. System design, analyzing code bases, interpreting requirements, logical reasoning. It won't be until AI reaches human level intelligence that programming will be fully replaced. And when that happens, many, many other jobs will be replaced too. So there'll be other things to worry about. More likely is that AI tools will enable programmers to become even more productive. Instead of fearing AI, it's time to embrace it to better oneself. And by the way, I have a video on how to use ChatGPT to 10X your productivity in programming. So is it too late to learn programming in 2023? No, absolutely not. And in my opinion, everyone should learn programming, at least the very basics. I heard a quote recently that said something like, in the future, you will tell computers what to do, or computers will tell you what to do. I think it already applies to today. People who drive for Uber are being told what to do by the app. People who write code for Uber are telling others what to do with their algorithms. But even if you don't want to make programming your career, learning it can be valuable in many ways. Number one, it gives you unbelievable leverage. With programming, you can easily automate repetitive tasks that you do daily in both your job and personal life and free up your time. You make the computer do what you want, and if you get good, you can make many computers do what you want. Number two, it gives you an understanding of how computers work. You won't be so mystified by them and treat them like magic. You will better understand its strengths, weaknesses, and limitations. And number three, it gives you incredible creative freedom. You can prototype your own websites, apps, games, etc. Okay, so should you learn programming and make it your career? To make programming your career, it's important to have a genuine interest in it because it's not just AI that you have to think about. Also competing with many other programmers who have started before you so you must be good. A genuine interest will carry you to become good at programming naturally. The only way to find out if you have a genuine interest is to try it out. Try working on a personal project, building a fun game, creating an interesting app, 
making a website. Through that process, you will quickly see if it's something that you want to do full time. And with AI tools around today, like GitHub Copilot and ChatGPT, a lot of the less interesting parts of programming are becoming much easier. Speaking of which, check out my video on how you can use ChatGPT to 10x your productivity in programming. It'll give you a massive leg up on people who refuse to use it or just don't know about it. Click the video and I'll see you there.